Hey everybody, welcome to the D. Louise book series. I'm Christina K-R-I-S-T-I-N-A. And today we are talking about Game of Bones, Sarah Booth Delaney Mystery by Carol Haynes. And um, before we get started, please hit the thumbs up and let me know I'm doing a good job here. Um, does Coleman die? Stay tuned to the end of this video. Please hit the thumbs up, please. I'm trying to get 10 likes for a video in and ain't working so far. It's been six months. Um, so, uh, Frank Hefner has hired Sarah Booth and Tinky, or the Delaney Booth Detective Agency, to investigate the death of Sa Dr. Sandra Wells. She was found hanging upside down a potential Indian burial site or ancient Indian burial grounds. And she was hung upside down, uh, neck cut and uh, dripping into a ball. Whole ceremonial Indian thing going on. And the land was previously owned by the Bailey family who abandoned it after the plantation burned to the ground. And so Tinky and Sarah Booth are investigating the, the death of Dr. Sandra Wells, and it leads them deep into the mystic, um, fortune-telling, uh, voodoo, New Orleans um, intrigue. And also, uh, Jitty is driving Sarah Booth crazy um, she's coming to her in all these different famous Indians, including Pocahontas, and she's also um, warning Sarah Booth, without actually saying anything, and it's driving Sarah Booth crazy, that her loved ones are in danger. And at one point, um, Coleman does get shot in the shoulder, and he's he gets sent to the hospital, and she panics. But um, while Coleman is in the or just before he was taken to the hospital, Cece has disappeared. And once she knows that Coleman is okay in the hospital and under the doctor's care, and she promises never to leave him, she leaves because she gains a new clue and she leaves Coleman alone in the hospital to go investigate to try and find Cece. And as things progress, a second person is killed, and um, uh, Bella Devereaux, and she's not who her ID is either, because when she was found in the secret location, which is a huge clue to the whole mystery, and you don't realize that till the end when the whole thing is revealed, but um, her this is a false identity. She's had two or three false identities. And it takes Sarah Booth and Tinky a while before it hits them what's going on. There's also been mysterious ghost sightings up at the burial ground. Someone is trying to chase away the archaeologists from the dig site. And another reporter is also playing up on this to gain ratings for her TV show. And um then Cece is almost um Sarah Booth gets close to finding Cece and Cece almost gets killed and she f eventually does find Cece. However, it also puts Coleman in a very vulnerable situation and he does get very seriously injured. Life threatening injuries and the whole reason for the crime I really don't want to divulge the information because it will it's the whole soul of the book the reason behind all the hauntings well actually there's a second person with the hauntings but the reason behind the hauntings and the reason behind the dig and the whole thing is wrapped around one little secret that just explodes and gets all these branches and all these layers. 
and I'm anxious to catch to read the next book in this series to find out what happens next. Um, but Coleman is seriously, seriously injured, and a miracle, maybe an unknown wish might save him. You'll have to read the book. And I'm definitely going to go get the next one because I want to know what happens next. But definitely check this out and please, please um, like and subscribe. Oh yeah, the the burial, sa burial was Mound Sal. It was a secret site for Tanikia tribe that's all wrapped up in this. And when you read the end of the book, because Coleman gets really, he's in surgery on the last page. So you'll have to check it out. Please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you.